Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Cindy here. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe. I make some lifestyle mommy type videos and right now some pregnancy videos because I am almost six months pregnant um, as of right now, December 30th. So we are so excited. Cute little boy there you see, his name is Carter. He's about to be four years old in a few days and that's Trayvon, my lovely boyfriend there. So this is a day in our lives. This is just kind of a chill day and you'll see I stay in these pajamas pretty much all day. Very, very lazy today actually. So every single morning, one of us will usually wake up first or at the same time and then we usually take turns or whoever is up first will go and get Carter ready for the day probably shower, teeth brushing, things like that. And I've been trying to incorporate some healthier, more productive habits into my days. So that's why I'm making my bed this morning. They're so cute. <laughs> I usually don't do that every morning, but we're gonna try to do that every single day, starting right now. What do you want to do? Just be sweet and be because they're hungry. Okay, let's go give them breakfast. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to feed them, okay? Okay. Right. First, I'm gonna take a little pinch of food, just a little bit, and you put it into the tank, and the fish is gonna eat it, and then when you do a little bit, that means two more, <laughs> and you take another pinch and take a little bit, and put it in the tank. That's how you do it. Wow, great job. What are their names? C and P, and the last name is Peter and Uncle. And what? No, the last name is. So it's Pete Peter? Yeah. And what's Sweet's last name? Sweet Leader. Sweet Leader? Mm hmm. Okay. I swear Sweet had a different last name last week. So. After I make my bed, because I'm super pregnant right now, I usually go straight to the bathroom to pee and throw up. And sorry if my eyes are a little red right now, because I was also pooping and watching a YouTube video of Emily Hembrow and her story of losing her baby when she was pregnant. I think she was like six, seven months pregnant, something like that. So I was like bawling, crying while I was just pooping right now. So Trey went to the store to get some eggs. In the meantime, I'm gonna make Carter some breakfast and he really wanted just strawberries Mommy. and turkey bacon today. Mommy. So, what do you want for breakfast this morning? Mm, bacon and vitamin and strawberries. Okay, so while Dad is at the store, I'm going to make your breakfast, okay? Okay, and after my breakfast, and I can make a sandwich. Yeah, for lunch you can have a sandwich, okay? Yeah. He's been talking about making I, a sandwich since he woke up. And I gotta get, oh. I'll be right back, cause I gotta get my ball. I am done finding the ball. I wash my ball and dry my ball. And mommy's done brushing her teeth. And my ball's all clean. Okay. So, if you're wondering, these cookie pajamas, it's a little jumpsuit, and the 
buttons are definitely like bulging open right now because of my stomach growing. <laughs> but this is from Shein. It's actually in my Shein Black Friday haul that I posted not too long ago. I'll link it down below, but they're so comfortable. These are honestly my favorite pajamas and very fitting because chocolate chip cookies are definitely one of my pregnancy cravings, so fitting. Well, actually last night, Trey and I were talking about all of the goals we have for 2021 and basically how we just want to be healthier, live a healthier, more productive lifestyle. So you guys saw me make my bed this morning. Honestly, I don't do that every day, but that's something that I'm trying to instill and do every day just to wake up feeling accomplished. And you know, if you have goals, why wait till 2021? You can just start now. So we will be doing some things in our video today that we don't normally do. Like we're gonna do an at-home exercise together later. Um, and I don't really know what else, but we're just trying to be healthier and more productive overall. So another thing that I'm starting to do is I'm usually like decent at drinking water. Some days I'm really bad, some days I'm really good. But what I want to do is drink a glass of water, a tall glass of water with a lemon squeezed in it every single morning. First thing I do before I eat or drink anything. So I'm not really a coffee person, but I do like to drink something other than water in the um, after my like something other than water after I drink my water in the morning, and I really love yes yes. I'm thirsty. Okay, go get go get your cup and I'll get you water. Okay, go get your cup. I'll give you orange juice. That's orange juice. Okay, take it out, please. So I love these Alani new energy drinks. And before anybody comes at me for being pregnant and drinking caffeine, I can have up to 200 milligrams a day, according to my doctor. And this has exactly 200 milligrams. So if I drink one of these, which I usually share a little bit with Trey anyway, but if I have one of these, I won't have any other caffeine for the day. So I usually, I don't drink those every day. I drink those like once in a while. Um, sometimes they're hard to find around me here. But I also, are you gonna pour it? Don't make a big mess. If I don't drink one of those, I'll usually drink a tea, or actually my mother-in-law just got us this Keurig, which we absolutely love. Trey's obsessed with it. And like I said, I'm not really a big coffee drinker, but for whatever reason, only when I'm pregnant, like I crave it every once in a blue. So Trey got some K-cups. Where did he put them? We like rearranged all of our kitchen cabinets yesterday. He got these like donut shop glazed chocolate donut coffee things which I really shouldn't be having because coffee upsets my stomach and uh, so does chocolate but I had one of these yesterday and it really didn't make my stomach feel that bad so I don't know if I want an energy drink today or one of these coffees so yeah if I'm not drinking one of those Alani new energy drinks also I like to make myself one of these like iced Tazo drinks either the green tea matcha latte or I'll do the decaf chai latte one. So then I don't even have to worry about caffeine at all with that one. Like I said, I don't really drink caffeine every day. It'll be once in a while. So I'm drinking my orange juice because this we dance we got from Target, right? Yeah, we got this one from Target. Yeah. What do I want to drink this morning? I think I want one of the little coffee things actually. Mommy, how Clear do you want choice, mommy, but I want mommy. one. I'm just putting stevia on my grocery list so I don't forget because I'm almost out. So this is what I like to make for me and Carter. He thinks it's regular bacon. Yeah, that's regular bacon. It's so giant though. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we have moved over to the turkey bacon. Because ah. it's healthier, right? Yeah! yeah. Uh, I like big bacon. I know. So here I am and just starting off the turkey bacon for us. And today I'm just making turkey bacon for him, but I do love it for myself as well.
then I just cut up his strawberries for him. He will freak out if he sees any of the green leaves on his strawberries and he won't eat it. He is very, very picky when it comes to food right now, which hopefully he will grow out of in a little bit. I'm just trying to start every single morning with some water with lemon in it before I consume anything else for that day. Dada's making coffee and it's going right there. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of green. That's not green. That's green. That's not green. What is that? That's black. That's black? Yeah. That's black? No. It's what? the color of that skin. What? You face this skin? Strawberries and bacon. Yeah. And next we're making bacon. This is Mommy and Rose Daddy. This is Mommy and Daddy. And Baby Carter. And what is that? Mommy and Dada and Baby Carter. Mommy, Mommy, and huh? what is that? This one. This is when Baby Carter was in Mommy's belly. At Mommy and Dada's baby shower. Your bacon's almost done. Your bacon's almost done. Breakfast! Dad, Dad. Yes. How many eggs do you want? Just one. Just one? Just one. That will be a little bit. No, it's okay. Just one. Dad is going to eat sausage too. What? So we have also moved over to the side of turkey sausage instead of regular sausage. Like I said, we are trying to change some habits, little changes every day will make the biggest difference. And we actually really, really like this turkey sausage that we got at Little. And this stovetop skillet thing, we actually forgot we had for a little while and we don't like to use it that much because it can be difficult to clean, but it actually comes in handy to make a few different breakfast things at the same time. So I'm using it today and I'm just making an egg and turkey sausage and cheese sandwich for myself. And then Trey just wanted one like fried egg with some sausage on the side. Breakfast is served. Yeah. Okay. So now Carter has to clean his room because it's a dry mess, right? Can I say, ready, ready set, go, go clean, go clean, go clean, go, go, go clean. So here I am just taking some baby aspirin that my pregnancy doctor wanted me to start taking because of some blood pressure issues I had. And you'll hear all about that on my first trimester update vlog, which will be up on Sunday. So make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for that. So fast forward a little bit later in the day, Carter was hungry again and wanted a chicken and cheese sandwich, which is one of his favorites. You know, toddlers can have very, very limited menus. So this is one thing he actually really enjoys to eat and to make. You put chicken and cheese on your sandwich, right? Now I'm gonna, now put the mayonnaise. Okay. Don't forget to shake it upside down. Beep, beep. You're doing a great job. Looks great, babe. Yeah. 
looks okay. awesome possum. <laughs> and then of course I cut his sandwich for him and he has to have his sandwiches cut into quarters or he will not eat it. sandwich now because you're gonna tell guys to I'm gonna eat my sandwich for lunch for Dada and I Dada is serving some jerk chicken with this sous vide here yum I can't wait I'll show you guys how it turns out so making the jerk chicken and the sous vide actually took a lot longer than I remember, so we decided to save that for dinner. So I'm making myself a lunch, actually part one, and it's my sort of healthier version of a Crunchwrap Supreme from Taco Bell. I just used two tostadas, and I put some chicken, some cheese, some lettuce, and some taco sauce on top. So good, so filling, and probably a little healthier than getting a Crunchwrap Supreme from Taco Bell. So while I'm eating, I'm just watching Lauren Ireland's video of what's in her hospital bag. And after lunch part one, I'm trying to be slightly healthier and have at least one glass of green juice or green smoothie a day. So for lunch part two this day, I was really craving some breaded chicken, so Trey is just breading it with some panko breadcrumbs and oh my god, these were so good guys. We should do a video on this recipe because it was delicious. and. This is just the shrimp all nicely breaded. Good. Did you taste one already or no? No. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's real good. Oh, I have the tails on. What do, you, do you like it? Mm -hmm. Delicious. These shrimp were breaded so nicely. They were so delicious. And the corn is actually a frozen bag from Trader Joe's. It's like the corn with the cookie cheese that they have. And here we are just enjoying our lunch, my lunch part two, and it was so delicious, guys. And after lunch, I just hung out and watched some Grey's Anatomy, and Trey is building this kitchen set that my aunt got quartered for Christmas. And bless his soul, I know he doesn't like building things, but it came out looking so, so nice, and Carter absolutely loves it. I was trying to rearrange Carter's room a bit to find a place to put the kitchen because his room is not too big and I had no idea where we would fit it. So after that, I just went to go take a shower, which I obviously didn't show, and I had already oiled and lotioned my whole body, which I also obviously didn't show, but I just wanted to put in a little clip of putting some bio oil on. And I talk about this in detail in my pregnancy essentials video, but I oil my entire body, not just my belly, because stretch marks can happen everywhere. So I just oiled my entire body here. And as a super quick dinner for Carter, I just made him this bunny pasta. What's your problem? You got toothpaste on your hand? No, I don't know. What'd you do? Crazy? You're so crazy. So first, Carter likes to brush his teeth, and then mommy does it. Get the bottom. Get the top. Get all the sides. Base. Seeing me? Mm hmm That's moisturizer face. Whoa! <laughs> right. mm. Moisturizer face before bed. You know what it says on the back? Let's moisturize your legs. Because you got eczema. It's a rolly essential oil like sleep thing, right? What is that called? Um, let me see. Um Oil logic sleep. Where does it go? Juice. On your chest. Your chest. That's your neck. Down on your chest. Like right here. Right here. It smells delicious. Helps you sleep, right? Okay. And on your wrist. Chest. Right? On the inside of your wrist. Just the insides. Other side. Is inside of my bone? No, just the inside of your wrist, crazy. <laughs> it's 
so crazy. Go give Sweet Pea dinner. So, gonna take a little pen and take um like this and just a little bit and that means two more and do like this. <laughs> Now I gotta say goodnight to Dada. Yep, go say goodnight to Dada. Goodnight, Dada. Goodnight. Goodnight. You gonna go to bed? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Lay down. Okay. Go lay down. Come on. Okay, say night night everybody. Say night night everybody. So here's that jerk chicken we were sous -vying earlier, and obviously this is not like traditional jerk chicken, we know that, but we ended up just grilling it in this new Ninja air fryer grill combo thing that Trey got for Christmas, and it came out so good. Like I said, I know it's not authentic jerk chicken, but it was so delicious and so crispy. I highly recommend this Ninja air fryer thing. So nighttime is mine and Trey's time to just watch our favorite show or watch a movie and just hang out here. So that was really it for our kind of lazy day in for my family of three. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please like and subscribe and comment if you like this video and I will see you guys on Sunday for my next video. Bye guys. Alright so it's totally the next day but I wanted to show the adorable little kitchen that Carter got. Thank you, Thea, for getting it for him. He loves it. So he's transferring all his food that he currently had in this little bin into his fridge and his freezer. And this was actually a really good price because I've seen a lot of these modern yeah. kitchens. Mommy, yes. I think my freezer is filled. Yes. This is for my egg and my eyes. Yes. Press it. Hmm? Press it. <gasps> See, it works. It works, right? That's so cool. It has like a little ice and water dispenser that works. And the stove top turns on too. It's and so cool. It's turning yeah. The All the knobs turn. This is like an oven. Watch out, babe. This is like an oven that opens. That cooks the oven yeah that turns on the oven right sets the temperature so I've seen a lot of these modern these looking kids kitchens <laughs> for super expensive like I've seen some for like $200 on Pottery Barn kids yeah that's the sink so you can wash your hands and your dishes and this one was actually like I think it was like $83 or $87 on Amazon I just want to show them babe look I know, babe, but I'm showing them. The door to the fridge is actually a chalkboard, so you could write on there. And it has a little phone on the side. It didn't come with that little cash register. Mommy, That's Carter's. I'm draw but my fridge. Uh, we gotta get you chalk, babe, because we don't have any more chalk. I have to get you more. But how cute is it? I'll put the link for it with my Amazon store down below if you want to get it. I think it's so cute. It's amazing for the price. I think the only downfall Mommy. that I see is it's kind of short. Like, Carter, stand next to it. Okay. Stand up next to it. I want to see how tall you are. So, yeah, Carter's already, like, taller than it. I feel like if you have, like, a one-year-old, two-year-old, it's, a, like, perfect size I'm for them. But three ready. years old and up, it's a little bit short. But it's not the biggest deal in the world. We also have um, baby number two coming, so she could use this as well. So yeah, great purchase.